Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the series on ARCA. Till now, we had seen how ARCA assists in performing mundane tasks on the desktop. However, we are just seeing the tip of the iceberg. There are many more customizations we can do to ARCA and make it more responsive. In this tutorial, we are going to look at some important settings which come very handy when working on the desktop. So, let's start ARCA. I will press Alt plus F2 and then type ORCA and hit enter. Welcome to ORCA, X Nautilus desktop frame. Now we will open the ORCA preferences. I will press insert plus space or caps lock plus space for opening the preferences dialog. Insert space. Starting ORCA Preferences ORCA Preferences Tab List General Page If you have gone through the tutorial on adjusting speech to preferences dialog, you will recall that there are many tabs or what are called as pages in this window. The settings we are going to learn this time will be in the Speech tab. So, right now, we are on the General page and pressing the right arrow will take us to the Speech page. Right. Speech page. The settings we are going to learn will make ORCA more responsive and provide important audio feedback about our activities. Let's get to work right away. As we had seen in the tutorial on adjusting speech through preferences dialog, we had settings for enabling speech, selecting the speech system, the speech synthesizer, etc. Let's tap through these options quickly. Tab. Enable speech checkbox checked. Tab. Speech system. Tab. Speech synthesizer. Default synthesizer combo box. Alt Y. We can also set the language as you know through the person drop down. Furthermore, we will tap through the settings for adjusting speed, that is, rate, pitch, and volume. Tab. Voice settings. Tab. Person. In tab. Rate. Slider 3rd tab, pitch, slider 5th tab, volume, slider 8.8, Alt L. I will also quickly tab across the punctuation and verbosity option. Tab, punctuation level panel none, tab, verbosity panel verbos, selected radio button, Alt B. Now, the next option is about how Orca reads data in the table. Tab. Table rows panel speak row. Selected radio button. Alt W. We will come to this option later on when we encounter tabulated data. The next three options are related to progress bar. A progress bar is something which comes up when we perform a long task such as copying a file or downloading something from the net. These options will make sense when we do related activities so let's quickly tap through these options as well and locate the speak blank lines option. Tab. Frequency sex. Sit tab. Restrict to. Applic tab. Speak blank lines checkbox checked. This option is a very obvious one. If this checkbox is checked, then Orca will say the word blank if it encounters a blank line. Press tab again. The next option is to tell Orca if we want to announce text indentation or justification. Tab. Speech page speak indentation and justification checkbox checked. Alt I. You can toggle it as you like. We will see the effect of this setting after we finish looking at all the options at hand. Now tab till you find the option that says speak multi-case strings as words. Tab. Speak multi-case strings, passwords, checkbox checked. Alt D. This is a checkbox which you can toggle. If it is checked, then it means words with mixed capital and small letters will be pronounced as a single word. For example, N-M-E-I-C-T will be pronounced as n mic Now press tab. Tab. Speak object mnemonics checkbox checked. Alt K. We find the next item to be speak object mnemonics, 
which we had seen in the Orca preferences tutorials. Tab again to find the speak tutorial messages. Tab. Speak tutorial messages checkbox not checked. This too was explained in the same tutorial on the Orca preferences. Press tab to find the next option. Tab. Speak child position checkbox not checked. Auto. The option in focus right now is to tell Orca that we need to know how many items are present in a list or a group of selections. Press space bar to check the checkbox. Space checked. Now let's press tab to move on to the next item in the speech tab. Tab. Break speech into chunks between pauses checkbox checked. Alt U. This option means if it is checked, then Orca will take a proper long and short pause for full stops and commas respectively. Press tab key again. Now Orca takes us to a drop down titled Say All Bye. Tab. Say All Bye. Sentence combo box. Alt Y. The default setting is sentence. You can press up arrow and see the other option. Up. Line. This option will tell Orca to break speech at every line. The programmers find it comfortable to have Orca pause at every line. But when we read an article or a book, we want Orca to pause at every sentence. So, let's set it back to sentence by pressing the down arrow. Down sentence. Now press tab till you get to the apply button. Tab. Help button. Tab. Apply button. Alt A. Hit enter and confirm your changed settings. Return. Orca user settings reloaded. Orca preferences. You will be able to see the effects of the changes right away. Press tab till you hear the title of this page. Tab. Cancel button. Tab. OK button. Tab. Speech page. 2 on made. As you heard, Orca told us that we are on the second item out of eight. This means that there are eight pages in the preferences dialog box and we are focused on the second one right now. So, what about the other changes? Well, we will just have a look at them in a while. Press shift plus tab to locate the OK button and hit enter to close the preferences dialog. Left OK button. Auto. Return. Orca user settings reloaded. X Nautilus desktop frame. Icon new layers pane zero items. Now to see the effects of the changes we made, let's create a simple text file in gedit text editor. Open the applications menu using the key combination alt plus F1. Right alt top expanded edge panel frame. Applications menu. One of three. Now, let's press the down arrow once to locate the accessories menu. Down, accessories menu, A, 1 of 13. We will use the right arrow to open the accessories menu. Right, calculator, C, 1 of 22. Locate the gedit text editor by down arrow and hit enter. Down, cd slash dvd creator. Down, character map. Down, disk usage analyzer. Down, g looks. Down, get it text editor. G, 6 of 22. Return, x nautilus desktop frame. Icon new layer pane zero items. Applications menu menu. Unsaved document 1, get it frame. Unsaved document 1, page text. Now we have a blank text editor. Let's enter some text. Enter the first line. D H I S this F I L E file I S is F O R four E X A M I N I N G Examining H O W How O R C 
A D D R I B U D E F attributes. This file is for examining how Orca provides information on text attributes. Now hit enter two times. Return. Return. This results into a blank line just below the line we wrote. Now write another line. I will type the following line. Orca responds on any event including blank spaces. O R C A Orca R E S P O N D S Response O N on A N Y N it E V E N T Event I N C L U D I N G including B L A N K blank S P A C E S spaces or can respond on any event including blank spaces. Remember, we had set Orca to signal us if there is a blank line. The Speak Blank Lines checkbox was in the Speech tab in the Preferences and we had checked it. So, now press Up Arrow. Up Blank. There you are. Orca tells us that we are on a blank line. Now, let's do something interesting. As you may recall, we had checked the checkbox for speak indentation and justification. Let's do a simple experiment to see how our car responds to indented text. Suppose we want to make a hierarchy denoting the location of my city, Mumbai. We know that India is in the continent Asia and Mumbai is in India. So let's write this down. First hit enter. Down. Return. Now write Asia and hit enter. A S I A Return Asia. Since India is under Asia, we will press one tab to indent the nation's name. So press tab and type India. Tab I N D I A. Again press enter for the next line. Return India. Now Mumbai is supposed to come under India so press tab two times and type Mumbai and hit enter. Tab tab M U M B A I Return Mumbai. Good. Now go three lines up and start reading. Up. Two tabs. Mumbai. Up. Uh, one tab. India. Up. Uh, Asia. Come down again. Down. One tab. India. Down. Two tabs. Mumbai. Down. Blank. Did you hear how Orca responds when it encounters indentation? Well, that's it for this tutorial. The text we typed actually was for testing the responses of Orca for settings we just did in the speech tab. Close the text editor by going to the file menu and then locating the quit button by hitting the up arrow. Right hold, file menu new, N, up, quit, Q, control Q, Twitter question save changes to document, unsave document 1 before closing. If you don't save, changes from the last six minutes will be permanently lost. Same as button. Alt A. Of course, Orca responded by telling us that text editor is warning us about we not saving the file before closing. Tab to close without saving and hit enter. Tab. Save changes to document. Unsave document one before closing. Tab. If you don't save, change tab. Close without saving button. Alt W. Return. Excellent. So, I hope by now you have become more comfortable using Orca. This is Niket and Duhita signing off.